In this video, I'm going to address a question from one of the viewers, uh, KK. Hi Paul, thank you so much for the great videos. I'm trying to create a quiz about songs. I've seen in Moodle that it's possible to add an MP3 file to the question, and then when you run the quiz, you can play the song and guess the correct answer. The Moodle format is, and KK gives me an example of the gift format for, uh, for creating that particular type of question and then goes on to ask, do you know if a similar solution exists for Adobe Captivate? Uh, similar, no, um, but I do have a solution for you. Uh, the GIFT format is supported in a limited way in Adobe Captivate, so while uh, Moodle does a whole bunch of other things with, uh, with the GIFT format, you're basically limited to simple questions and, and multiple choice answers and uh, drag, uh, or sorry, matching questions. I know it does that, and I think fill in the blank as well, but pretty basic. But there is another solution, so I'll show you an example of something I did in a course a couple of years ago. This was for an emergency response training course that taught emergency responders how to respond to airport related emergencies. And so this particular question is a, a, a knowledge check. It's not part of the final quiz, so I didn't assign any score to it. And I gave the users multiple attempts to answer this uh, because if they weren't able to remember the answer, I did want them, of course, to learn what that answer was by going through this exercise. So really, there's nothing special here. It's a standard multiple choice question. Um, but what I've added was a uh, shape uh, curved corner shape specifically, um, a rounded rectangle if you will, and I'm using that as a button. So I've added the text play and I've checked off use as button in the properties window. And then of course now I need to change the action associated with that to play an audio clip. So I'm going to select play audio from the on success, uh, success drop down and we're going to use the uh, the browse icon to find the audio clip that I wish to use and I imported this into the library beforehand so that it would be easily found. Here it is event code 1a.mp3 and I can click OK at that point and now that's associated with it. The one thing you're going to need to add is from this little drop down um, to make sure that you uncheck continue movie at the end of the audio uh, because you want it to pause and allow the user to answer the multiple choice question. Uh, you do want to give them infinite attempts um, just so that they, if they have trouble hearing it the first time they can play it a second time and a third time and so on. So that's pretty much it. I've pretty much set up everything to function correctly. Let's preview this and see how it works. We'll use next five slides so we can just see this particular slide itself. In this knowledge check, click play to listen to an audio clip and then select the correct answer on your screen. What type of emergency is the IOCC employee referring to? Okay, so now I can press that play button. This is operations with a 1 Alpha Boeing Bright Star 7001 by 320. So now I can select the answer that I wish to choose. Maybe it's a minor medical emergency. Mm -hmm. Nope, sorry, try again. Aircraft incident on ground. Now I get mm -hmm. some additional feedback trying to get me to recall what I learned in the previous lesson. I can play it again if I wish. This is operations with a 1 Alpha, Boeing Bright Star 7001, Airbus 320. Oh yeah, it's a 1 Alpha. So that's actually a crash on airport. I should point out that this recording that I used in this particular exercise was from a practice exercise and there wasn't in fact actually a crash on the airport. So now I'm going to click on submit and see if I've got that correct answer. I did, so I can now click anywhere or press Y to continue. So uh, just to summarize, this is a great way to involve some audio in your lesson interactions, your multiple choice questions, 
Uh, I think it makes it a little bit more interesting than just a standard multiple choice question. I certainly could have just given a list of alpha codes and had them select the correct one or maybe do a matching exercise, but it's kind of interesting to make it closer to real life, in this case listening to what um, an operation employee would be referring to on a radio communication and then of course you knowing the correct answer to that uh, a little bit more like real life as opposed to just dragging and dropping or choosing uh, you know a multiple matching scenario or something like that so I uh, hope you guys like that solution and maybe you can use it in your own courses guys if you like the videos that I'm producing I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and if you thought this video was useful go ahead and give me a thumbs up